Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to just get ready for church. I am wearing my one and only Christmas sweater or jumper and yeah, I've got my peppermint tea in my cute teacup. This is my early Christmas present from Kevin. I really wanted to just enjoy my tea time and so I thought a tea cup set would be a nice thing to have. So today is our Christmas carol service. So I'm really excited for church and sing Christmas songs and just remember the amazing gospel and just sing it with my church family and also sing it um, with those who do not yet believe in Jesus and it's amazing because um, people more people come to church and hear the gospel and I just pray that you know people will really see the beauty of the gospel that the father loved the world so much that he sent his one and only son um, to be born as a man and live um, life with us suffer with us speak our own language um, and to ultimately die for our sins to be reconciled with the father oh, what an amazing gospel and i'm excited to sing songs and just remember the love of the father um to us through his son jesus and yeah i am now going to get ready so i thought it would be good to just get ready and reflect about what i learned in 2021 i feel like this year is a year where god has really taught me about humility and i actually wrote a blog on my website and the title is on being open to learning and changing and that is basically the theme of my 2021 and I honestly owe it to my supervisor because as a theology student you know I am very passionate about the views that I have and I think that it is very important to listen to other people who differ in my theological views in secondary matters and being open to actually hear them and learn from them instead of going into a conversation with a critical mindset and that's where I really um, grew in my listening skills we are never gonna learn from someone if we um take our own baggage and not listen why they believe what they believe and so yeah in my blog i wrote down never assume you know it all it is a trap to think that you already know everything about a specific topic because when you have that I know it all mindset and attitude then you are not giving room for yourself to grow and to learn more and that is very convicting to me because I am a very confident person and I can be argumentative at times um, in my theological views and I can definitely understand those people who comment on my views and really attacking my beliefs as a reformed christian i have gotten comments that i am deceived because i am reformed and i can totally relate to that because that's what i thought about reformed people before i thought they were wrong and so yeah i think it's very important for us christians not to accuse someone is deceived because they belong to a specific denomination and all that and so 
yeah, my supervisor is um, a Presbyterian Reformed lecturer and he is also a minister and so it was very interesting to me that in our seminars he would invite other scholars from different denominations we even had a charismatic scholar and we read his book and all that and that's what i learned as a student is to never assume you know it all and you know before i became reformed before i i sided with um calvinism and really dug deep into calvinism i was very against it and i really saw it in a bad light because of what i heard about calvin and what his beliefs are but I was stuck in that mindset of, oh, Calvinism is so bad, it can't be Christian. But did I read the source? Did I read Calvin's um, writings? No, I didn't. I have only started reading Calvin um, after I graduated. And when I read the Institute of the Christian Religion, I am so just shocked and annoyed with myself that I thought of Calvin as an arrogant person, self-centered man that he didn't know what he was talking about. But really, when you read his writings, and I encourage you to read the, the Institute's the institutes of the christian religion it's only 99p on kindle i know it's quite long but it is very easy to read and i recommend you to read book three first and you will see someone who has a heart for people who has a heart for the gospel all about self-denial all about glorifying god and that made me really annoyed with myself because I was so close-minded before and that's what I really learned if you are a student if you are a Christian who loves learning about God's Word if you're someone who loves studying theology and all that I recommend you if you hear someone who says um, Calvinism is wrong or other views are wrong to not take their word for it but actually go to the source and read what they teach because I was stuck in the mindset of you know Calvin is a bad person because of this in that because of the tulip and whatever and I was stuck in that mindset for four years. I've met scholars who have PhDs, who have studied um, for years about a specific topic, who would say, you know, I don't know everything, I'm still learning, there's so much more to learn, you know, that is such a humbling thing to hear and that reflects the humility of Jesus and yeah i noticed that i don't gravitate to youtubers that would talk about controversial stuff and calling people out anymore although i know that there's a place for that um i think i'm in the season where um i'm tired of you know just always seeing the bad in people I think yes I think that we should call out false teachers but if that's the only thing that we do then we will be critical with people all the time another thing that I learned in 2021 is to always link arm with others especially with the people around you with your local church with your spouse with your friends with your family especially if you are a student when i first started my master's degree because i was doing it online because of the pandemic 
I felt depressed and low for a few months and you know I was just doing my masters for my own sake um, but as Christians we have been bought with a price therefore we are not our own anymore and so everything we do is for God's glory and even our studies even our work and all of the mundane tasks that we do daily if you're a mom if you're a student if you are a nine to five worker whatever you do everything we do must be for the glory of god and so when i was stuck in that mindset of you know i'm just studying masters for my own sake that made me really depressed because i was so inward focused but then I realized that man I am studying because I want to learn more about God I want to glorify him and so I realized I'm studying because I also want to contribute to um, to my church and in the way we do mission in the schemes and that really motivated me to persevere in my studies because then i wasn't studying for my own anymore i was studying to contribute to our local church in the way we do mission and that's why i did my dissertation in doing missions in hard places in scotland and so when we have the mindset of serving people serving the local church serving others and thinking about the need around us for the glory of god that motivates us to persevere in what we are doing so if you're a student you know you are studying because you want to be of service to other people to your family to your church to your community right and so if you're a mom i think that it is important to think about yourself and really take care of yourself but really we are thinking about being the best mom for our kids and so yeah really link arms with the people around you and i talked about it on my blog we are made to serve people to serve god and ultimately we are called to die to ourselves, to our selfishness to our own will to our own righteousness another thing that i learned in 2021 is to study the scripture and to study theology not to become smarter than the next person or than this person or to you know become smarter for myself but to behold the glory of god the trinity father son and spirit um and that's why i have paul washer's quote in front of my desk just so i can see it every time i do research every time i write essays and i study i always have it in front of me because I am very insecure. I grew up being called stupid or bobo and I am slow sometimes in understanding things and so I'm very insecure. I always strive in my flesh to become smarter so that I can impress other people and so yeah i think that that is the answer when we are struggling with our quiet times when we are struggling to pursue um joy and to fight for joy in reading the bibles we are reading the bible because we want to see the face of god and you know we are not reading the bible because you know maybe our friend might ask us what we've read in the bible what we've learned from our quiet time you know sometimes i read my bible thinking oh i'm gonna read it and i'm really gonna understand it so i can um show off and explain um this verse to my friend and so that she can think of me as a smart person but um that should not be our motivation and i 
feel like as a Christian YouTuber, sometimes, most of the time, I need to fight that temptation because, you know, Christian YouTubers have to really study God's word in order to create content, you know? We don't pump out content without spending time first with God. And so this is my encouragement to Christian YouTubers. When you are studying, when you are reading God's word um, for the sake of sharing encouragement and truth to your viewers, I think that it is really important to have that foundation of okay. Um, my motivation for studying God's word is not to become smarter so that I can be a better um, communicator to my YouTube audience. But I want to read the Bible because I want to behold the glory of God, the beauty of God. Then when I see his beauty, I am able to communicate that well to my audience and so yeah i battle with that temptation daily to study not to become smarter but to behold his glory yeah i'm gonna do my eyelashes now what time is it it is 10 to 11 a.m we have to be at the church hall at 1 p.m and i'm gonna cook lunch at 11 so i better move 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 i really want to take you guys to our church carol service but it is really difficult to film in there because a lot of people in our church and in our community don't like to be filmed and so i really need to respect people who are not on social media who are not on youtube to respect their privacy yeah i think that's it for my face i'm just gonna apply some mascara lip gloss and that's basically it I am so sorry guys if I am just rambling in this video. I don't have any script with me. I just really wanted this to be a casual chat and that's my goal for doing Monday vlogs for December is because I really just want you to see into my world without any script. It's just me sharing with you guys my life sharing with you my thoughts and what i have been learning so yeah i hope that the things that i have said in this video are helpful and encouraging and challenging this year has been a year of god pruning me and chastening me to become a better christian to love people well to listen to people well to respect others because as calvin says i'm gonna read this quote from him because i love this quote he said the only way by which you can ever attain true meekness is to have your heart imbued with a humble opinion of yourself and respect for others i think that that is a picture of dying to our self pride is to not think highly about ourselves, but to think of others as um, more important than us and to look to the interest of others. I think that that is a very challenging thing for me to do because I am very prideful and yeah, I remember when I was a theology student, I was doing my undergrad it was my husband Kevin who first told me that um, I became arrogant and so I think that as theology students we have that tendency to become arrogant because we are learning things in seminary that other Christians might not know and so we really need to go back to that place of you know humility and having a servant heart and ultimately reflecting the heart 
of Jesus. And so, yeah, I absolutely love that quote by John Calvin. Yep, that is my makeup done. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching me ramble and share with you guys um, my 2021 reflections and what God has been teaching me. If you would like to read my four minute blog on being open to learning and changing, I will link it down in the description box below. It is on my website and thank you guys to those who are subscribed to my website and reading my blogs. I really appreciate it. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my peppermint tea. Look at this cup. It is so pretty. I love it. Dig in baby. <laughs> So we are having English breakfast for lunch. This is my lunch. English breakfast. Kevin's enjoying it. Looks so good. This is baked. So it's a lot healthier. But English breakfast is normally all fried, isn't it baby? I'm going to close off this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, I have a message from the baby bear. Why is Kevin messaging me? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to close the vlog here. I'm going to try and film some footage later in our Christmas carol service. We're going to have mean spice and hot chocolate after the service. If you are from the UK, you know we love our mean spice at Christmas. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you in my next video. Grace and peace be with you. But for now, much love and God bless. Bye! <laughs>